Welcome back to the channel, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I am continuing to work on the TACM M60A1 with ERA. Here we see the progress so far. Next up is the basket at the rear of the turret. This basket is constructed with thin plastic frames and the mesh is depicted with photo etch. Photo etch can be tricky to work with and I'd like to show you how I take care of it. Removing the part is done with a sharp blade. I make sure to place the blade against the part to ensure I remove as much material as possible. Next, I sand down the extra attachment points with a coarse sanding stick. Now, I'll make sure the photo etch can fit inside the plastic basket. Unfortunately, I believe the mesh should reach all the way around to the turret, so this mesh piece is a flaw in this kit. I will glue the parts together with Ultra Glue from Ammo Mic. This is an interesting product in that it can be used to glue both photo etch and can be used to attach clear plastic parts without any glazing. My guess is that it's simply a strong version of Elmer's PVA glue. Another mesh is applied to the back of the turret basket, and for this, I will need to anneal and wrap the piece. Luckily, Tacom provided a piece to help wrap and bend the piece into just the right shape. Because of the extreme shape, I will need to anneal the metal. Annealing is done by heating up the metal piece, which softens the part and allows for easier shaping. Once the mesh pieces were glued to the basket, I found that they needed to be attached to each other. Here I am forcing them together with tweezers, and I decided at this point to use some CA glue because of its strength and fast drying time. Here is the finished part. Once I attached the turret basket and other details to the turret and body, I was ready to apply the first color. This color is known as Field Drab, and is a slightly light brown. The color is followed up by forest green, which I tried to depict with a Tamiya color called Field Gray. This color was masked with a product that I highly recommend, AK Camouflage Putty. This stuff works great. It doesn't have any residue, comes off the paint easily, and maintains its shape for a while. Once I added these two colors together, I found they were off, so I decided to redo it all. And here is the final camouflage. This particular pattern and combination of colors is one of the 12 Murdoch patterns known as Winter Verdant. I applied Tamiya Buff and Flat Black as the two final colors. When I finished, I found that the field drab was too dark, but I found one reference photo with this dark of a brown, so I left it. Finally, the model received a gloss coat in preparation of the decals and washes. Thanks for watching, and please hit subscribe.